The Tesla Cybertruck is not a truck. It's actually a truck coupe. Let me explain. We're charging right now in the Tesla Cybertruck at a supercharger, and it's got me thinking, this Cybertruck is a great car so far. It's probably the best Tesla I've owned so far, but having jumped in other trucks like the TRX, the Ford F-150, and also maybe even the Rivian R1T, the Cybertruck does some weird things that might not actually make it a truck, but more of a coupe truck, or maybe even a sports coupe truck. Let me show you why. The first thing is the obvious. I mean, if you take a look at the shape of it, it's not made in any sort of way like a traditional truck at all. We've got a crazy front angle windshield that's super flat that makes it, I don't know if it's more aerodynamic or not, it most likely is, but it's got a different shape versus other trucks that go straight up and then to the back. On top of that, it sits much lower in this low suspension setup, which almost makes it like a sports coupe type of vehicle. Of course, it can get higher with the air suspension, all the way up to 17 inches to make it more truck-like, but it does sit a lot more lower than any sort of truck we've ever been at. If you watch the video where we compared it against the F-150 Lightning, even at the Tesla Cybertruck's highest suspension, it was still lower than the F-150 Lightning until we put the Cybertruck into extract mode. So the first reason is just the shape of the Tesla Cybertruck. The second reason why the Tesla Cybertruck is like a sport coupe truck is how it drives. It's got this steer by wire that's super tight. You really have to experience it to believe it, how well this truck drives with the steer by wire. A lot of people, when they get into the Tesla Cybertruck and drive it for the first time, they feel like it's effortless. And they also comment that the Tesla Cybertruck steering wheel, the Squirkle, is a little bit small for the size of the truck, which adds to the more feeling that the Cybertruck is like a sports coupe. But the third reason is probably the biggest reason and really similar to a bunch of other sports coupes that exist out there. And that is the interior and the blind spots. Big emphasis to me on the blind spots. Let me show you. Here's the visibility on the backside. Of course, right now the tonneau cover is completely closed, but let's go ahead and open it. Either way, you can see that the visibility on the left and right sides are good, but the rear is probably the most limited, which is kind of the same with any sort of Tesla that you've owned before in the past. Visibility in the rear, I think Tesla just wants you to use the cameras. But the biggest issues to me for in terms of visibility are these massive pillars on the left and the right side. You can see from my visibility when I'm driving right now, this huge pillar is just in the way of everything. Of course, there's a mirror right there. Of course, there's a little window where I'm blocking with stickers. But either way, there's a little bit of a blind spot in that area. And so I think a great update would be better cameras in the front corner or front right corner or even more cameras maybe not better cameras because the front camera I use it a ton now because I don't know or I can't see the distance or I can't judge the distance in front of me as well and here is the driver's side pillar of course I've got a camera mount there and of course I got stickers but either way you can still kind of see the effect that it's blocking on both the front left and the front right. Those are kind of my thoughts on the Tesla Cybertruck and how I actually think the Tesla Cybertruck is more of a sports coupe truck than a actual truck. Compared to like the Ford F-150 Lightnings out there, the Rams, the other trucks that actually exist, those trucks, when I got into it, didn't really have visibility issues because those are real trucks. And so the Cybertruck is kind of this like weird in-between between like a badass apocalypse sports car truck and a truck that actually exists out there. But let me know what your thoughts on it down below in the comments, any questions you got, and also please hit that like button and at that subscribe as well. See you in the next one.